Welcome, welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. We're on the top of Kenosha Pass here in Colorado. September, the leaves are turning, beautiful weather, about 72 degrees out here. I'm about 100 miles into my trip, another 250 to go, and Kemimoto is nice enough to send me one of their cooler bags that mount to the rear of your bike, just in time for my 400 mile trip to Telluride, Colorado. Let's check out the bag. Fairly simple install with this one. The bag has four mounting points, two in the front, two in the rear. They include these straps. I'll show you how those go on. So here's the strap, has a loop on one side, clip on the other, fully adjustable. Give yourself some length when you first start out. Find four points on the bike, two in the front, two in the rear. These are the ones that I've found that work the best for me on this bike. Take your strap, clip through the bottom loop, and pull. And there's that. And then take the clip, clip them on these, on the bottom of the bag. Once you have all four set, start tightening them out equally so the bag sits nice and center on the back of your bike. And that's about it. Very easy to install. On the rear of the bag, or the front, depending on which way you install it, you have an extra little pocket. I just have some trail mix chilling in there. And on the top, you do have this, this rubber band kind of deal. You could probably put some extra sandwiches, whatever, on the top there. Now the bag has some extra hooks here on the top and some on the side. That's for the shoulder strap, which I forgot to take with me. But also a nice little plus if you want to unclip these and throw it over your shoulder, get to your campsite, to your hotel. So let's take a look inside. Nice zipper to it. You can tell right away if the zipper's decent or not. This one zips very nicely. We have a pocket on the lid here. Let's put some cliff bars in there. Some beers once we get to the hotel tonight. A couple of waters, a couple of sweet teas, and a coconut water. And there's still plenty of room. I'm only going for, for a two day trip, so I really didn't need to take anything other than that. The sidewalls seem fairly strong, especially when the top's closed. It's a pretty solid bag. I do like the colors as well, black and gray. Nice and subtle. Oh, I didn't even notice this. It's got a handle on top. That's nice. I'm not sure the exact dimensions of the bag, but once I get back in cell service, I'll give you guys the exact specs. Let's get rolling. seven miles later the bag's still on the bike it did very well all the way from northern Colorado to Telluride over Imogene Pass which is a very technical off-road trail down a Ure I only had to adjust the straps once and all the way back to northern Colorado I forgot to mention it is waterproof And after so many hours of riding, once all that ice melted, there's actually a pool of water like this in here. I didn't have anything dripping on the seat or on me. So when the bag is laying horizontal like this, you will have no drips. Although when you do tip it vertically, it will drip through that zipper seam. So the bag is 16.5 inches, 12.6 inches, and 6.7 inches. If you're interested in something like this, there will be a 10% discount code in the description box below and a link to this bag, which comes in two different color variations. The discount is good till October 10th, so definitely check that out. I'll catch you guys in the next one.